Namaste to all divine selves. Today I am going to put in very brief the most fundamental method of self-realization given in Vedanta, especially Brihadaranyak Upanishad, the method of Neti Neti, the method of negation called Neti Neti process is the most effective instrument and method of immediate self-realization. What is that method of Neti Neti? Neti in Sanskrit means Na Iti, not this, not this, not this, not this. So what we do and what we have to do in the self-realization, what we have to do? We have to realize the self. Self-realization means realization of self that is supreme reality that is the brahman that is atman that is eternal immortal reality so how do we realize that self we need to know the nature of the self and we need to we do know the nature of the self from the scriptures but for our own first hand experience direct immediate sabchat aprakshana bhuti we need to know where exactly it is located how can we find within ourselves that brahman for that, this process of neti neti is the most immediate, simplest and powerful method of immediate self-realization. I will take you through that in 10 minutes. So, the fundamental principle of Vedanta is that Drik Brahmheti Drishyamayeti Sarava Vedanta Niranayaha That the seer is Brahman and truth and all that is seen is false illusory, that is maya. To repeat, if anything and everything that is seen is false, is maya. And anywhere and everywhere, anything that is a seer, that seer is Brahman. The presence of seer cannot be denied anywhere. And the seer is only one, not two. There is only one seer, only one knower, only one experiencer. And that is me, I. So how to know it? So the process is very simple. Anything and everything in our experience, if it could be experienced as this, Anything that is experienced or known or perceived as an object of perception or oh, this, this hand. I am seeing my hand, my right hand. Therefore, it becomes false, illusory, that is part of seeing. So it's a mithya, it's maya. So the entire object and I am the seer. I am seer. As a seer, I am Brahman, I am Atman. But at this moment, I am beginning the journey of discovering my own true nature as seer, the immortal, eternal Brahman. So this body, no, this entire objective universe, first this entire gross objective universe, the totality of the bodies is false because they, they are all, this entire universe is object of my perception, my knowing. That's why it's false in appearance. Then my entire body and body parts, I know. I experience, I perceive it directly through my senses. That's why these are also illusory, false, part of Maya. What about the mind and intellect and emotions? This, this body is gross body and the subtle body within constituting the senses, the mind and intellect, these two are experienced by me. I experience and I see, I know the state of my mind, my mental modifications. I, at the moment I am talking, what I am talking, what I have to talk, my intellect, my mind are being directed by me that you have to speak in this language, you have to speak on this topic. I am happy or unhappy, I am agitated or calm or cool. That is the mind, the state of the mind is ever known, the state of my intellect. I am able to solve the 
mathematical puzzle puzzle or not i am seeing that i am knowing that therefore the intellect the mind to our direct directly observed perceived and known by me therefore even the mind and intellect my body and the entire objective universe is false illusory part of maya by this process of neti neti so this is not this is not this is not that is negated is false then we come to the next step who was the one who was seeing who is knowing who is perceiving who is experiencing the entire objective world the, my own body and my subtle body this mind and intellect there must be a se separate seer the seen and seer are never one and the same the seen and seer must by definition scientific definition must be separate now when i go straight within myself and see that i have rejected the mind and body and mind and intellect the senses and everything if I, it has fallen silent then have i myself fallen silent have i disappeared to non existence no i am ever present even in samadhi or in sound sleep my presence is there i testify to that the bliss of brahmananda in samadhi and the sound sleep in the absence of agitation and the sound sleep that i experienced so who is the experience that experiencer can never be known because that is the seer that is the knower that is the perceiver and that you are because that seer is never seen as an object of immediate perception as in the case of the hand i was watching or the world i am watching so the seer can never be seen the experiencer can never be directly experienced the knower can never become an object of experience therefore the neti neti not this not this is not going to be functional there and now you have hit upon the ultimate reality because there is nothing more to negate i have negated everything that comes as part of neti no iti no iti not this not not idam but that seer within me as i i consciousness i pratyay is never seen is never an object of perception by the senses no no other second no one can know it therefore that seer that knower that perceiver is the ultimate reality because there is no knower of that knower there is no experience of that knower who is within me and that alone is called sakshi chaitanya that alone is called pratyagatman in dwelling self that pratyagatman and sakshi chaitanya is essentially and ultimately brahman the supreme reality the paramatman the supreme self the god loosely speaking because that is absolute reality that is source of stance and substratum of the entire world of names and forms it is birthless and deathless reality and this is ever present and ever shining the self luminous i i i aham 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 tell me when did you experience the absence of aham vritti whether you are an atheist or an agnostic or a believer you are a christian or a muslim or a hindu you are a stupid or a wise or enlightened person nobody can ever experience or doubt his or her own existence that indubitable existence of i that is brahman in reality present due to ignorance in the jiva as in association the upadi of the mind body intellect and the finitude associated with the limiting adjunct of mind and body alone has created an illusion and ignorance in me therefore i think that oh i was born a few decades ago i will die after few decades my body is subject to sorrow decay disease affliction 
नो नो उपाधिज आर एक्सटर्नल टू मी आई हैव नथिंग टू डू एज इन द केस ऑफ द लाइट ऑफ द सन द लाइट ऑफ सन इलूमिन्स द एंटायर यूनिवर्स बट द गुडनेस और बैडनेस ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट्स इट इलूमिन्स नेवर इफेक्ट्स द सन इवन सो द साक्षी चैतन्य माय ओन आत्मन द प्रत्यगात्मन सेल्फ लुमिनस सेल्फ एग्जिस्टिंग एब्सोल्यूट रियलिटी इज नॉट limited by either time or space or causality i am unconditioned beyond time beyond cause and effect all time is imagined within me all spaces are imagined within me i am not confined i am not covered by time space or causation everything else is within me everything has emanated out of me satyam gyanam anantam brahma that supreme brahman that is in f- existence infinite and bliss existence infinite and pure consciousness that is ever present reality within myself i only because of ignorance of my true nature has come to I have come to believe myself as this jiva, petty, perishable. Therefore, through this process of neti, 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 go immediately at the core of your existence, the life force that is Atman. Remove to repeat it before I conclude it. Before the self-realization, in no, you need to know what is not self. so this process of neti neti is most scientific rigorous and simplest to follow to identify and eliminate what is an atman not self so by this process we have eliminated this entire world of objectivity as not self an atman this body as an atman falls the mind body as not self and then finally we hit upon the i the seer the knower the eternal knower the eternal perceiver within me i am atma brahma sarvan bhu this atman this perceiver this self which is experiencing everything is brahman that is bhradaranya upanishad declaring and all the other upanishads through different sentences so this i consciousness shining ever self luminous reality that is my atman that is of the nature of pure consciousness sit down and dissolve your mind and mental modifications in that and immediately you begin to tap on the bliss of the brahman as declared by lord krishna in bhagavad gita the 28th verse the infinite bliss of the brahman is ever present within you the only thing is that you have to stop the extroversion of the mind you shut out your senses you introvert your mind and thereby you go straight at the point of the infinite ocean of love bliss and beauty that is atman the self and dissolve that mind the mind without objects is nothing but pure consciousness there is no independent existence that is why in that state of meditation and samadhi you dissolve through internalization and introversion of the mind and dissolve it into the infinite ocean of love and bliss and beauty and then you begin to declare chidanandaropah shivoham shivoham 